Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another edition of X Dine Plays featuring the Portland Burnsiders versus That's So Randall. Now, the Burnsiders, we did pick up another forfeit win before this, taking our record to two and three going into this match. We have our starting six with us here today. Armboard on Demo Man Stag there in the moppy hair. On Roaming Soldier, Fletcher, our other soldier, playing the pocket role, while Armboard and, oh, sorry, excuse me, the Calm and Serby are playing our scouts. Our opponents, that's so Randall, have Uber and Ace on Scout, Randall on Roamer, Christy on Pocket, Zoma, the Demo Man, and Translucent Feces on Medic. So this is Goalie Wash. Uh, I almost did a video of a scrim of ours uh, in the lead up to this where we had a really nice scrim with our regular scrim partners. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we were making progress on things, though. But I thought maybe it was just better to show you guys uh, how our progress kind of really crystallized. So I probably was going to be talking about a lot of the same topics through the course of that match and this match. So let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be following through my POV. As this game gets started, of course, classic ESCA. We need to take some time to get ready. Ah, match is live. Ah! All right, cool. So regular rollouts here. Um, we're gonna send an arm board to choke side while um, rolling out normally. You know, out here, get pretty good rollout here, straightforward. Although we do eat a sticky coming out the door and don't get the best heals on Fletcher. Um, the arrow rollout on Gully Watch is a little bit tighter, but. Uh, should still with arrow. Uh, was a little bit disappointed that uh, Armbor did not get as much coverage as he could have there and went down pretty easily to the Roamer. Um, and we end up backing out. So uh, that's a good sign. You know, that's a lot better than it could be. Um, you know, you never really are all that happy about backing up uh, from middle with an Uber charge, but oh my god, you saved the round. And a round is 20% of a match. Losing a round is 20% of a match. So um, it's pretty important to not lose rounds and to play safe. You know, you can't let a, a loss at mid turn into a loss overall. So we're, we're posted up, we're a little bit more spread out. Um, being Bunched up was an issue we talked about in the scram, so I like where we are right now with Armboard on the right side, our um, Roamer as he comes back up, and uh, John getting buffs, um, dishing those buffs out, and then just posting and waiting. So Stag takes a position on the board, or on the pipes, excuse me. On, let's chill for the video, honey. So, okay, I guess. And they're gonna bomb in, uh, back up uh, pretty early, get good protection. I decided to come back out with half health, uh, and then there was the call. Okay, just go get cabinet um, and take care of business real quick. So I go to cabinet and then come back out, and um, you know, just that one bomb we weren't really feeling like pushing out. Um, we do kind of sort of position ourselves to take a look at it, but Stag goes down. It's like, okay, well, never mind. Oh. Get mad about that? Come on, girl. Um, and uh, figure they probably have a sniper somewhere, uh, or you know something that they're getting ready to do. They end up just coming in with Uber Charge. I'm able to hold for quite a while, and don't have to pop right away. Unfortunately, you can see I just tried to save Armboard there, and uh, I think I, I think I made the right call in terms of you know the beginning of that Uber Charge, not having to use it. Oh, and unfortunately, the the calm goes down there right while he's by me. Um, and we're, we're figuring out this defense here. Lost too many players going backwards. Uh, a little bit of an indecisive this there when they pushed in. Um, but losing arm board was really unfortunate. And then after that, we really probably should have just super uh, closed in to make sure that we were okay. But uh, there was some positives there. And I think we just got a little over aggressive when we didn't really need to. So get it slightly better roll out here. Still trying to walk it up uh, elbow here to get to armboard, but armboard goes down early to get a lot of pressure. Then we lose Fletcher and Stag. So again, an unfortunate mid fight, but uh, I am able to get out once again uh, with both scouts and tell them you'll get back, 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 back. You gotta say that a lot sometimes. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor. EO Reality, that way. Um, they um, provide us with our game server. We're not using it in this ESEA match. They provide us with our voice server. 
Um, if you'd like a game server or a voice server from them, the quality is awesome. Uh, I'm not paid to say that, but they are giving us a server, so there you have it. That's my FCC disclosure, ladies and gentlemen. And, um... Uh, do a great job dodging the bomb in there from Christy. I feel pretty good. Okay, still working it. Still working it. And we're staying safe. Feel good. So, Devil Man's on uh, right side. And we send Stag out. And I think this... No, okay, never mind. Never mind. It's always these moments. And we all talk about these different moments. Sometimes uh, when they're about to happen, I think there's something else. So, we're pretty good post up. <laughs> I lose uh, my heal target for a second there. But we're a little bit better organized kind of some talk, calls about, okay, so maybe this was it. There was some calls about Stag going out to see what happened, but then we're just all five here, you know, we really just, there are moments where it's okay to push one player into five, or into six, you know, try to make something happen, but um, I think we talked about later that I kind of wish that we had sent a scout or somebody with Stag so that, you know, help protect them, help follow up, you know, push out, uh, make sure we get an early pop, something. Uh, but we ended up with a difficult defensive situation, but do hold here. And uh, Stag is going to go back to roll out. Fletcher is out forward. And uh, I'm going to come back up here in just a second with the calm. Um, Fletcher, the one forward. Our soldier's kind of switching roles for a second here. Stag is going to stay back, though. And I'm going to try to get out here. Um, which, again, though. Oh, and then uh, there, there was the briefest flash of a spy there. I don't think it showed up in the demo, but um, I, or at least I didn't see it in the demo, but live I definitely saw a flash of spy uh, glimmer there. So we've kind of recovered a little bit. We're uh, getting towards choke side, uh, able to take that point. Um, so, you know, that's always a positive. Uh, during our scrims, pushing through here was kind of an issue. And again, you know, a bit of indecisiveness. Uh, I'm trying to do a better job of positioning myself at rock and letting um, the flank come to me. Uh, I'm uh, sometimes like too proactive of a, a medic where I'm like I just want to buff everybody that I run over to flank to buff them So I'm trying to curb that habit and Serb comes over here and we build so that we can hopefully get the charge uh, in time uh, I fake a charge as well um, Always a good call if you think you're a little bit behind around like 80% 85% um, You know, I mean it's just an easy way to kind of throw them off and uh, Maybe make them hesitate about pushing in a little bit of course, they might know you're faking too, but hey, at least it, at least it makes them hesitate. So we call, okay, well, let's go in here and um, kind of taking our time. And finally, Serbi goes down and I'm just trying to push through here. Uh, Stag was already in and Serbi was called. And that was just maybe another example. You know, we are continuing to work on it um, and obviously communicated it throughout the match, uh, after the match, during the match. But that was another example where our combo, you know, of myself, the demo man, and the pocket really needed to just work that Uber through there faster. Um, and you can see I was trying to position myself to get into a good Ubering position, but I'll oh, watch this misplay right here too. Should just stay here and why? Why Eckstein? Why? This is my you are not um, my yeah. So I go down there, which is unfortunate, uh, but the um, team still pushes forward. We get a bit of an assist here. I think this was another place where we had an issue. I think we talked about, yeah, we talked, okay, we talked about this later, and now I can kind of see again. No, okay, sorry. I'm thinking of, again, I'm thinking of different scenarios, but, you know, there was definitely, we had no heals. I was just coming from spawn, and we were trying to win middle point. Um, and maybe during the heat of the match, I remembered it a little bit differently, seeing it that way. Um, they weren't as far forward as I thought they were, but nonetheless, we still probably should not have been contesting that point. I do a good job of uh, getting across and, and getting safe here, waiting for the pack that finally comes up, and then I can walk back out here. Because otherwise, I would have just... Um, uh, just died from a roller. I do a good job ending up on Randall's head there. And again, we're pretty nicely positioned here, so we should be able to get a retake here. And the Burnsiders are putting up a good fight and uh, staying with this game. But uh, we're getting our scout to capture as we're pushing forward here. And uh, get good presence, good positioning here on this middle point. 
and uh, starting to surge forward here. And we got armboard on point, but here, again, this is another point we talked about at halftime. Miscommunication. The point not captured. Both of my scouts saying, let's push forward, let's go, let's go. But that's not the natural order of things. The natural order of things is when there's that call, and that call is made, uh, the people that are pushing forward are the demo, the soldier, and the medic. And the scouts are finishing the capture. Um, and then and then we're moving forward, you know. Uh, sometimes, obviously, the scouts do get ahead, but in, in that scenario, we, we talked about it later, um, it, it definitely should have been the uh, scouts kind of capturing that and a little bit more forward pressure from our combat classes. It's working out, though, but we are pushing in towards last here. And uh, I'm just a touch behind our uh, combo. And uh, trying to climb in here, trying to get our buffs around. And uh, Stag goes in early, gets the dispenser. We're a little bit slow on following him in, but the call is still there. And then we get a good bomb over the top here. Distribute it out just uh, to make sure that armboard gets in clean. And then keeping it on Fletcher. Get Assault on Randall. Uh, Randall Welp, excuse me. Uh, whoever whoever that is. That's Ace or Uber. And then the Madness coming out here. And the Calm just barely could not get that kill uh, to finish it off. So it was, it was an okay Uber. Uh... I, I think uh, definitely maybe I did not do that right, you know, in terms of dropping the saw to get the kill on the scout. Um, and, you know, but I also felt like we needed to pressure the point more. Um, and I'm not quite sure what happened behind me in regards to kind of our scouts or entry. We were obviously kind of slow getting in there from the beginning with stag and following in stag. Um, but... Uh, uh, it was unfortunate that that fell apart, but at least we got a stab at the last point. You know that's definitely progress over last week, um, and you know we've been hanging toe to toe in the first ten minutes um, with this team, so we're feeling pretty good about it. Getting ready to buff people up and get ready to go, um, buffing Stag up all the way. Um, Serbi's buffed up, and uh, I'm not quite sure where. Yeah, I was searching for the comm, and there he is. He was waiting for some ammo or something. He gets buffed up. And we're gonna get charge here. Uh, they called as well. And uh, just a bit of a post up here. And Stag comes back for a buff. And buff up Serbs as well. And uh, still a little bit of the waiting game here. We buff up Stag. And. <laughs> Trying to find that lost John uh, for a second there, and uh, we definitely had. I'm not. I'm not sure if it was here, but we definitely had some really big indecisiveness. I think it probably was, as you see now. Finally, the scouts and the soldier go off together. Um, we had some indecisiveness, though. You know, uh, we talked about it pregame, but I mean, you can only talk so much about concepts and some of these things. And we made the call of like, yo, we want to buff up stab. We want to buff up both scouts. See, I, I popped Uber. Hopefully, didn't drop it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to play it too tight. Um, and uh, again, it's just like, as a team overall, you know, when it comes to winning versus losing, it comes down to these small things. And uh, I'll discuss it. I'm known. I'm known to make excuses. Um, but I also like. For me, it's a process of like explaining why it went wrong, you know, and then next time we get into that scenario, it won't go wrong. And it's like that whole lead up into that push or that whole scenario, we were distracted, we were unfocused because we made a call of like, let's buff stag, let's both buff both scouts and let's push them through big door, then we'll use this uber through choke. And there was this back and forth and then we finally did it and then stag dies and we have to send a moment to like cheerlead because... We argued about something and then we did it and it went badly, but it was good for us to do it and to execute it. And I would not have turned out badly if I hadn't dropped that Uber. So uh, obviously I should have popped earlier, but was trying to hold it as they came in there. Should have just Ubered right away. And now I'm stuck at 80% uh, getting dropped on last by Randall's shotgun. Um, we are uh, courageously fighting, but the second soldier, oh, nice rocket by Fletcher too. I think that connected. Uh, courageously fighting, but are going to go down there to nice plays by Welp. That must be Ace. A 
put out a shout out to some other uh, Portland companies in our uh, ESEA page. Um, we're looking to work with them more in the future, but they're just friends of ours. Uh, I kind of get caught up on that step, but still get out here with a decent, um, uh, decent heels. Both of our soldiers are on um, gunboats, which really hampers things because I just get stuck down low here. We were indecisive. We wanted to go up right, and I just couldn't walk up those stickies. I mean, there was two stickies on my feet at Big Door because the demo man was getting there early and not getting pressured out. Yes. Uh, but, and then, yeah, couldn't walk up shoulder because of everything. Uh, and then we were just disconnected on left side um, with uh, Demo and our soldiers. So uh, it was it was unfortunate. That might have been another one that I analyzed under stress and might not have gone down how I initially anticipated it. Um, the calm gets a, uh, I think that was a drop. Um, definitely a big kill. I'm not 100% sure if that was a drop, but timing-wise, uh, he certainly could have had it. So we're looking to push from upper here um, to get control of this point here. And uh, we've only lost stack so far. I popped there because he was at like 40 health. Unfortunately, dropped the comm. Really tried to flash him there because I knew he was about to get uh, blasted. And then we're pretty far forward here with Fletcher. Armbard is coming back out with us. And uh, Serbi's fighting around as well. He does get a kill on the one scout, which was very much needed for us to uh, persevere here. And uh, get good heals out. So uh, nice uh, pushes out by us. And Fletcher calls, let's go big door. Takes us just an extra second to get out here. We lose Serbi, and uh, that was unfortunate as we do have good pressure here. But I think we're just about to get sandwiched because I think really uh, it's three of us versus uh, players about to come up from behind us. And uh, yeah. Uh, dangerous. I don't quite surf all the way around the rock. Surf to the bottle there and then come in and get killed. So the issue there was that like the push play through Big Door was good, but I guess we shouldn't have been trying to capture point. We should have just been trying to punish the medic and then push back through to choke to reconnect with our reinforcements. Um, you know, with TF2 and the nature of respawns and respawns always happening, uh, there's just kind of some basic tenets of military strategy, you know, that don't quite work, you know, just because you're always going to have people coming back um, and getting reinvolved in the fight, you know. So there, it was, um, it was a three on three when we decided to push in, probably, and but we're pushing into enemy territory, closer to their spawns, further away from our spawns, um, and that just means that the fight is going to turn into a three v six, like. <laughs> It's just what's going to happen is the fight's going to turn into a 3v6. And that means it's not a good fight to take, so. Uh, we're taking a fair amount of damage on Choke. I got Stag buffed up. Now I'm just trying to reheal other players. We still want to go. It's a little bit early on our charge right now. So we're at like 90% here. And uh, Stag's getting out, but we are just about to get the charge. Uh, Stag gets out there. Um, and again, uh, I think we had this criticism in our comments. And I, I think it's 100% fair. Uh, I mean, we, we got some pressure, we got a pop there, um, but at the same time, you know, we might need to be working on our coordination between our roamer and our, our combo. And this is a big issue here. I, I, w I was critical of that, and uh, Serb is, uh, a, is a soldier main, um, and I, I think maybe Pocket more, and I know that when I play Pocket, I could, I could clear stickies more. Um, Fletcher doesn't have the shotgun, um, and in that scenario, uh, we just needed Serby to shoot, like, all those stickies before they got split up. If he had shot all those stickies before he got split up, then Armboard would have been with Fletcher, uh, dealing damage. I would have been with Fletcher dealing damage, and Serby would have been out in the mid-fight fighting. Um, so that was really a big deal, and, and that moment definitely came up in our halftime discussions, because I was like, dude, I was paralyzed, like... And, and, and Fletcher's making aggressive plays, and we need to support Fletcher's aggressive plays. Uh, but it was just, uh, yeah, really, really difficult to do that. They pop in with the Uber, rush the scout down low, and yeah, we, we just needed somebody's down low or, or, or somebody in somewhere closer proximity to the point. So they just bum rush that scout, Uber charge in, and uh, worked really well for him. So there you have it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, took an extended halftime break to uh, bang our heads together. 
and chat things out. So I'm going to fast forward through that right now, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second half here. Burnside is down 0-3 now in the blue instead of our red. Um, I think our halftime talk consisted a lot about, you know, again, following through on calls, um, even if we're a little bit uncomfortable with them, um, and uh, just playing smart and uh, well together as a team. I uh, did get late bus on the comm on the rollout. He, he did kind of slow down to, to try to get make sure I got him, but I did not. We tried to reconnect with Fletcher and Stag, who were working on uh, that right side, but we were not able to cross mid. I take a bit of a risk getting that pack. You, you really don't need to do that most of the time. Um, and there was definitely another time that that got me in trouble. So uh, watch that behavior. Your regen is awesome. Um, and I mean, if you're backing out safely, there's nothing to worry about. So we whip out that Boston Basher, um, get that uh, overheal uh, tick down a little bit in order to um, get that Uber building faster. We did have a bit of a debate, and I was wrong about it. Um, the threshold for building an Uber charge faster uh, is not, it's like you have to be under half overheal. Um, it, I thought you had to be actually under your regular health. Um, we, we clarified that earlier in the season, but just a note for you guys to make sure all you aspiring medics out there are doing it right. We need more of you, that's for sure. We get a kill on Uber uh, early, which is nice. I pop decently um, in response to the bomb from them. Stag also gets a kill on Translucent Feces, and uh, we're going to push in aggressively in, re in response to that. I'm still having a bit of an issue. Fletcher unfortunately goes down to uh, Zoma, the demo man. And we're going to get aggro here. We want to get this captured. The comm gets a kill on Zoma. And uh, we're feeling pretty good about this right now, especially with all our players on here. And Stag also in control of that last point gets things taken care of. So um, we're able to push out a last, get a capture. And uh, that definitely just, you know, overall our ability to do that in this matchup. Um, yeah, I mean, bodes well for the Burnsiders. Um, obviously we would perform better if we weren't ever in that scenario, but, you know, we have to be able to play a little bit of defense um, in order to just uh, win championships, right? Um, you know, not even get to that level yet, but just to win games. Um, so the calm goes down on Big Door side uh, due to uh, down to Ace. We do get him cleaned up with uh, good coordination with the rest of our team, and uh, we want to get a little aggressive here. At least that's kind of some of the communications, some of the thoughts. Um, I, I buff Stag fully and then uh, hit Serb up. And uh, getting Stag again. Just another thing, I mean, I, I talked with it to Serb and we have a lot of transparency uh, here. Um, but just a small thing, um, you know, don't let your medic buff and heal everybody as they need to. Um, you know, there's certain times where, uh, obviously, you know, let your medic know you need some loving. But other times, if things are kind of mellow and you're like pounding your medic for heals, uh, it, it can just be really distracting for your medic. And the medic has to process a lot of information, a lot of stuff that's going on, um, and respond to stuff. So it's good to just leave them alone sometimes. Uh, the calm clears that sticky there, which I appreciated. Just don't let those things hand, uh, hang out. Uh, we lost Stag and a bomb, so that's why we were posted up here. Taking our time, trying to just you know show some patience because we do have the, the lead there. Um, and uh, Christy pushes in. Uh, I end up, well, switching off my Uber charge a little bit there to shoot an arrow out. And I saw my health, and uh, oh my. Uh, I also just kind of panicked. That whole scenario, just, there were some really, really small things about that that made me panic. I think we got a, kill, a call for an arrow heal uh, that distracted me that we didn't need. And uh, it just it did not end very well. Um, awkward push, awkward Ubers. Um, you know, being in a decent position, and then also, you know, that was awkward as well, not knowing whether we were able to fight or not. Serbia and I had backed up so far. This was actually, this was actually the the, the part that I was talking about earlier. So earlier that 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 push, uh, we definitely should not have just like push mid and try to take middle. This one, oh my God, huge mis miscommunication on our team. That Serbia and I backed up all the way from middle scared for our lives we backed all the way out to second when um really we we had an engagement um far forward and we discussed it later and you know fletcher and stag got like kind of sucked into a demo man kill um i mean they got the kill but it just kind of ended up being a longer engagement 
and requiring more work than they thought it was going to. Put it that way. So, uh, just trying to be uh, defensive and protective now. Um, backing up. They've gotten the second point. So we just kind of need to get positioned here and uh, build up. And uh, Calm, get, get him healed up to 450. Serve you with me here on the side. Spreading those buffs around. And here they come with the Uber Scout. Once again, just pushing him to point. And now we finally throw players on there. I have 93% and not healing anybody. Oh, man. That one was really disappointing. Uh, yeah. 93%. So, you know, 7% is really not much Uber Charge. Um, and I have a suspicion that we could have we could have gotten that Uber Charge. So, we need to work on that. You know, that's something we talked about, again, you know, post-match. Um... If not even also at halftime. Again, could have gotten a better heal on Fletcher there on the rollout. Uh, so I'm kind of slow. Kind of eat a bit of damage. They go shoulder side. I try to wrap to try to uh, help him out. Stag gets chewed up. I back out. And we're just losing people all over. Zelma with the sticky over the top. So he takes me out in a, a tough uh, mid-fight. Uh, our scouts and demo man backing out. And again, just kind of not the best job getting in entry wise um, not the best job getting out and, and also unfortunately their arm board getting picked off we should have enough time to get him respawned um, before that they can capture middle or sorry before they can really start attacking last here um, stag goes forward a little bit as well and uh, I think I urge the calm to go out there and try to see what he can find stag also gets a kill on the medic there so that's a definite plus and uh, as the calm comes back, heal him up. Bomb in from Christy. They're going to try to dry push this. No medic. And uh, I, go, I go down on the ground uh, to just try to get in there. But you know what? They just come in, steamroll us, out DM us. Uh, we couldn't stop the entry. And uh, that's so uh, Randall doing a really good job there and um, showing why they deserve that uh, 5 0 victory over us. Um, they just played good, clean TF2, uh, pushed well, uh, didn't really make many mistakes uh you know so you can't really can't really complain about that um the burnsiders you know we definitely made a lot of progress um and we're continuing to make progress um and we're getting there you know um competitive tf2 is very harsh uh in terms of you know one the skill level that you need which i, I think our skill level is 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 there um but then you know also just the communication um the the teamwork uh a lot of kind of behind the scenes things that are just more than just your mechanical deathmatch um, capabilities. So um, again, yeah, now uh, we are two and four, which is not quite where we'd like to be, especially since those uh, two wins are just forfeit wins. Um, but you know, we're growing, uh, we're making progress and we're excited to see what the rest of the season holds for us. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Axtine. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.